Good morning everyone in India and China. Today we're going to go over the uh, basic steps of processing eyeglasses here in the States. Um, I just want to go over four particular uh, uh, cases. This is considered a large wrap case and the reason that is like that is because you notice this is a wrap frame so it has to go with the curve. And when we do a frame like this or a case like this with the frame that would go in the box as big as this and the reason for that is because you don't want to squish so what you want to do is be able to put that in there such as this and notice that it's in there pretty good and then what you want to do is take some pull, put it in there as such and it would look like this then of course we would tape this. That would be for big wrap frame. So that's case number one. And of course they all have to be protected. So that would be case number one for the wrap frame. Notice the inside wrap. You see that? Let me turn it around. It contours with the with the uh, uh, case. Then you would have the smallest case, which is like this. As you can tell, it just opens like that. It would have a small frame like this in it, and what we would do is put that in there, close it up, use a small box. You notice the size? And what we would do then is, again, take the bubble wrap, put it in, and you notice how I'm putting bubble on the bottom, bubble on top, and close. Again, we'd use the uh, tape gun to tape it shut, and then throw a label on it. And then we would have the next size up, so that would be for a frame a little larger. And again, we would put it face down with a cloth, a white cloth, face down into the case. And again, we utilize the same type of box for this. Put the bubble around it and close it up. You see that? And then last but not least would be the second to large because this is the large this is the second to large and if you notice the inside it's really for oops let me turn it around it's for a pretty good size frame again white cloth on this put it in here and because it is such a large case I'll show you what I mean you really don't want to put it into here because you notice how it's pretty tight so you're not getting maximum protection so what utilizes the bigger uh, box and again, we put it in, put the wrap on top, and in all four boxes, like I showed you, you would take the tape gun, tape it shut like this, and voila, you'd put the label on top of here, and that would be pretty much how it is. Uh, let me show you what the end product looks like. Excuse me one second. So here I'm back, and this would be the end product. If you notice, it's taped, shut, solid as anything, and the label goes right on top. So that is pretty much what it is. Just so you folks know, in India and China, uh, the problems that I have seen coming from uh, China is that all the frames that are put into the box are put in there so tight that either one of three things can happen. A, the frames get out of adjustment. B, the lenses can pop out. Or C, the base curve, which is, this is considered the base curve. You see the curve? Because it's squished so much, it flattens. So that can really happen. So those are things we need to watch for. Uh, as far as, uh, we also need to make sure that we put in the, not only write on the envelope, write the number, the item number, let's say, hypothetically speaking, it would be uh, 88330. But you want to put a little slip into the bag itself because a lot of times what happens is, is that the um, number either gets rubbed off because China, the lab in China is packing it so tight that the numbers are rubbing off one bag to the other. So by putting a little label inside the bag with the number written on the bag makes it a safer deal. Uh, so this is pretty much how that all works. Again, let's keep in mind we have four different cases. We have the extra large, we have 
the large one that's in here that we put in here. Then we have the medium. And then we have the smallest. And of course, the last one would be the one that China has been sending me. And uh, I mentioned this to Arjun. This is absolutely not a good uh, case. Uh, first of all, it's very tight in here. So I would never be able to get anything other than what's in here and here. And not only that, but it's it's a rough material. It will scratch the lenses. And even if you wrap the frame with a cloth uh, and put it in here, the cloth will move because of the pressure because it's so tight. So anyway, other than that, everything else has been coming out pretty good. Uh, I do check the jobs with, uh, let me turn this around. As you can see, we have a lensometer here in New York. And uh, Ajahn had sent that over here, so we have that. And, and jobs do get checked out periodically. I spot check uh, just about anything. Uh, if there's anything else uh, I can help you or answer you, uh, utilize my 30 years as an optician, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, if anybody has a question, you can email me at ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. Or you can call me at 631-599. 0218. Uh, keep in mind you want to put a 1 in front of that. So it's 1631 uh, 5900218. Take care and you guys have a great, great day and keep up the good work.